Hello and welcome to the video for how do I use the UMG editable text multi-line version. As you can see in my example here, I have got an image with a few pieces of text along with a editable text multi-line. We will go ahead and go over the parameters that are unique to this. We have the content section, the style section, as well as two events. The content section, as this contains a multi-line text box, allows you to enter in your text in multiple lines. You can use Shift Enter to automatically add a second line. For example, this is our first line. Shift Enter, this is our second line. Once you commit, you will notice this is our first line and this is our second line. You have justification, which will not adjust until you actually compile. And then you have auto wrapping, which will do the same thing. Auto wrap text is automatic, or if you are not using that, you can wrap the text automatically at a certain width in pixels. We'll go and use auto wrap text. We'll set this back to centered. Below that, we have our style. These are our standard styling options. We have our font as well as the size. Note size will not take effect until after you compile. We have color. Shadow offset, shadow color, selected background, highlight color, and highlight shape. The two events that are unique to this widget are on text changed and on text committed. On text change will fire as you type in the text. On text committed is a little more difficult because the enter key is bound to the Next line, on text committed will not fire unless you override the on key down or on key preview down event. For our example, basically, you can use this as this is the background story for a role playing character and stormy night. And that's it. It's as simple as that. It's simply a large block of text that you can edit and that is not really styled very much. Unlike the normal editable text single line version, there is no read only or password option.